Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Highlander because nobody plays the Highlander and I thought we have to change that. So the Highlander zero, uh, 733, this is what we are playing today. And yeah, we have a nice mid to close range brawling setup here. We have an AC-10 in the right arm, two medium lasers and four SRM-6s with Artemis. And um, yeah, the build is... Uh, Pretty devastating because we have a 71 point alpha strike so you can overwhelm the enemy quickly and on top of it the Highlander has a lot of armor so we can stay in the fight for a long time and um, yeah this this is basically what it's all about oh also I forgot uh, it has a great AC-10 cooldown quirk so our AC-10 fires at 1.7 or 1.6 ish something seconds this is fast, this is really fast. So in the early game, you can just throw out some bullets and late game, you are coming in with the big SRM-6 burst and then you should stop shooting your medium lasers because then it's only auto cannon and SRM time and you save the heat for, for that. Light engine 300, it's not the fastest that the Highlander can take, but it's still decent, it's 54 kph, it's just good enough. And we're running two jump jets with uh, two and a half tons of ammo for the AC and we have four tons of ammo for the SRMs here. That's very straightforward. The skill build is uh, as straightforward as it can be. Maximizing firepower. That's it. <laughs> I was going for heat management. I was going for cooldown. Of course, magazine capacity and missile rack on top of the missile spread and high explosive nodes. And uh, then we have uh, the, the armor quirks that we amplify with the skills on the left side. And we have the cool run to keep the mech cold. And that's about it. Ab apart from two artillery strikes and two cool shots. That's it. That's the Highlander, everybody. Maximum firepower. We're gonna kill some people today, uh, but only virtually. So, that is the build, everybody. I hope you have a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And as always, if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Frozen City. We are playing, what is that, Conquest here. We want to go to Epsilon because, and Epsilon, uh, there are some medium mechs coming in. So let's see if we can get there before they got the capture to full and um, it's probably not possible. We are running 54 kph so it's alright for an assault mech and as you can see the capture has started just now. Now the enemies, uh, if they are light mechs, uh, they just run away. Th that's the thing. But um, again, let's let's try to establish some domina dominance over here. Domination? Dominance over here. And uh, my teammates are coming with me so that's cool. What I really want to capitalize on here is, of course, our amazing cooldown of the AC-10. So we have some very nice DPS and uh, we have armor for days. We have uh, some missile weapons. And we could do this. Okay, this is mighty out of range. <laughs> okay, never mind. And the good thing is that we have armor, uh, not armor, ammo as well. Armor for days, ammo for days. Um, we have burst with our SRMs coming up. We have a Huntsman on the right side. So let's uh, keep track of him. And I think he is alone. So what I'm gonna do now is I just keep pushing. Oh, there he is. Now it's a Night Shear. Okay, all right. Uh, I wanna keep pushing with my with my mediums and heavies. So that that's a thing that I can do. Uh, I want to provide a tank here. Or I want to be the tank in that fight. He's running streaks and lasers. That's it. Nothing more. And attack, of course. What about this? Yeah, 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 this is what I expected. Oh, what? Oh, what? Okay, never mind. My, my, my arm was so low slung. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't hit him. He was out of range. That I got so much damage from it without getting anything done. Good job, me. Also, I'm blocked again. Hey, thank you, Annihilator. Ah, this triggers me all the time. When I want to do a move, I'm preparing for it, and somebody completely says, Hey, no, you're not gonna make that. I'm gonna just block you to death. It's okay, right? So, <laughs> I mean, using using my mech as a shield is fine. But please, please, let me maneuver. That, that is important. Okay. At least that hit. Alright, we are in range for the night here. But only mildly. So what I need is a, is a good team fight. This whole peeking thing, it do, did not work out for us, as you could see. Oh, this is good. Mm, left or right, left or right. There's a big door. There's a guy coming up. Hey, dude. Okay, we got that. Did I just accidentally destroy this arm? Wow, this guy is tanky as hell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got that. 
And I think it's time for actually a big push. Since we have six kills already. That escalated hard here. Seriously. Okay, I want to go in again. Please let me go. Make room for the big ones. Okay, we go for the night star here. Nice. The dead night star. Was an arm only. Let's go for this. Mm-hmm. Some solid damage to the Nova. And time for murder. Okay, this guy's dead. Let's keep going then. I want to get an angle on this guy here. I know there are some people. Okay, dead. <laughs> on the left side. I was just capitalizing. Okay. Okay, take it. Holy moly! The triple. Things happened. I, I don't know what, but things happened here. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I mean, you could see that uh, DPS is fine. So we could shoot all of our weapons all the time if we get into the position to actually do that. So this whole peeking thing early on, you could see that it didn't work. But uh, as soon as we got moving and started to put on pressure on the enemy, we murdered here. Wow. Okay, so we got five kills, three kill damage dealt, four assists, 534 damage with six components destroyed. That was the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing Conquest on the Mining Collective, and we are playing uh, the solid block of metal in the middle of the team. Now, this should be fine here, because we have cover to sneak upon the enemy, and I really hope that we get into a nice brawl here. That's one guy. 1200 meters, a Viper. Oh, it's SUAC with a PPC and some small lasers. All right. So can we can we, can we we get him out of there? Because this is nasty. A Viper up there with a PPC, just constantly firing, uncontested. That's nasty. That's really nasty. So uh, again, I want to push Theta, but my team seems to be, like the guys on the right side, they seem to be kind of busy doing something against the guys in at Epsilon. So taking Theta now with only three max. Even though they are assault max, mm, this is not a good idea. So, I hope, I hope that we get some backup here. Fire starter, uh, something. Wow, oh, I was too late for that. I wasn't prepared for another mech there. Um, I think they want to reposition with their main force. This is why they are running to the center there, and I expect everybody to be there. Every single mech. We are taking the top, guys. We are taking the top. Let's go for the center. Don't stop on the ramp. We are pushing through. Okay, okay. Good. We've gained Epsilon. We are about to get Theta. And again, I'm fine with this. I like this position here. This is what the mech is made for. Okay, this King Crab is dead. 100%. Maybe we can. Oh god, my aim. King Crab, I said. King Crab, not the other guy. I wasn't overridden. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Anyway, um, let's keep up the push, honestly. Uh, I believe all of them are on the left side. No, they are not. Oh, interesting. My assessment is wrong. Okay, in that case, I really want to drop artillery. Can't. I need to wait for my team here. So this is it. This guy is dead, which was, uh, I think, a mauler. Hey, dude. How are you doing? And I'm going in now. No respect for the enemy. Hello. Kill. Yeah, this is massive damage. See that? How his torso turned red in an instant. I think he's gonna reposition now and our mediums are gonna, gonna hunt him down. Let's keep up the fight in the center. I wanna be here. Okay, my missiles hit. But that's about it. Okay, dropping artillery down there. Okay. Yeah, it's fine if they shoot me, but I need follow-up actually. Guys, come on. Can you do it? I hope so. It's pushing to the right again. I think we destroyed something. It's only an arm, though. Death from above. Kind of. Dead. I like this SRM rack. It's so cool. It is so damn amazing. So much damage. Comes out in big bursts here. And I'm getting shot in the back. By a thing. It's called Shadowhawk. You wanna you wanna challenge me? I'm gonna challenge you to a duel. Nice. Oh great job Invictus here. 10 and 2. This is so much escalation today. 
Everybody is just wrecking everybody. Holy moly. I wasn't prepared for that. I mean, th I, I was recording a, like, a lot of games today. I was having a big recording session. And there were so many cool games in there where like, it was actually relatively even. I cannot get there, right? But this year, both games that I played here are escalating so hard. My god. Okay, so Nova is one of the last enemies here. I really hope he jumps up again so that we can get a shot on him. We could also try to jump up ourselves. I don't think that we can get there though. Nah, we only have the hover jets, not the jump jets. So you need to drive him out there, please. Guys, can you do it? It's a Viper. That's uh, SUAC on the, yeah, on the other side of the map. Okay, and the Nova is, is getting harassed by our smaller mechs. Mm-hmm. There he comes. He's coming our way. Not anymore. <laughs> All right, so as you can see in the Viper, the last enemy, he is open in the legs. He is getting shot at. If you can destroy his legs, he not only loses a lot of his jump capacity, but also a lot of speed. So it's the right thing to do. Just cripple him down, pin him down to the ground, and then deal with him. Wow, it's actually not that close. Or yeah, it is, uh, not, not that decided. Or that, that much of a storm. They actually got four kills, which I didn't expect. Interesting. GG guys, GG. Again, the Highlander, definitely, like this one here, is definitely a nice tip of the spare mech. You can just go in and overwhelm the enemy quickly before they can do anything in return. And that's what we did today. Now, we have two killing blows, uh, six assists, two camels damage dealt with 606 damage and seven components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support the channel and keep me going, then go down to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.